Hello, I'm Georgie Brown and this is your Week in Tech. Supply chain software provider Relex has raised $22.4 million from Summit Partners and will continue its international expansion. Trinomi has closed a $3 million funding round. Trinomi provides consent-based sharing of customer data and solves data privacy issues in financial industries. Private family photo app Togetherer has raised $340,000 on Crowdcube. It's already featured by Apple in 118 countries, currently has 50,000 users and is live in 17 different languages. It's been a bumper week for growing tech talent in London. Seed Camp Week kicked off, gathering the top startups from across Europe to focus on scaling up. Startups such as Land Insight, Splitable and Moneys had the opportunity to meet business experts and accelerate their ventures. Entrepreneur First held their fourth demo day, showcasing the entrepreneurial endeavours of newly graduated techies, and Girls in Tech have launched their mentoring scheme. They sorted through hundreds of applications to find top talent from three main areas – entrepreneurs, coders and managers. The 15 lucky mentees will have the opportunity of six months mentoring from top names such as Google, Not On The High Street, Spotify and Decoded. Over in the US, Apple have revealed the details of the iPhone 6S, which features an improved camera, faster processor and a 3D touch, which will be able to distinguish the pressure of taps. The phone was unveiled in California alongside a range of new products, including a new iPad Pro and Apple TV device. Meanwhile, Facebook-owned Instagram have introduced 30-second video ads to their news feed of their 300 million strong user base. This is the latest manoeuvre to further commercialise the social media platform after trials revealed their users didn't really mind seeing the ads. Our download of the week is Vernez and Mayong is here to tell us a little bit more. Vernez is a place to edit your own fashion magazine. You could also follow other users and even product to see what other people are liking and how they're styling your favourite items. Better yet, you can shop everything you see. And finally, former antivirus developer John McAfee has announced via YouTube that he is running for the office of US President on behalf of the Cyber Party. The eccentric millionaire decided to form the party after he was struck by the lack of tech literacy within the government. While he may not be a serious contender for President Obama, he certainly has got people talking about issues around cyber security and government surveillance that people are endowed with certain unalienable rights, that among these rights are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and make sure you follow us on Twitter.